Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mons and I create content revolving around sneakers, travel, and lifestyle. And for today's video, I'm going to be giving a first look at the Air Journal 1 Satin Bread, the women's exclusive. And stay tuned for the second part of the video because I will actually be styling this pair three ways. So if you enjoy these types of videos, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And let's get started. Before I get into the unboxing portion, I'll go ahead and share how I was able to get this pair. So Sneakers App had a shock drop on October 4th and I was able to purchase this for $180. The official release date for this is gonna be on October 18th for the same retail price. And the official colors for this pair is gonna be black, white, and university red. Now, since this is a women's release, it's not gonna have extended sizing. So the size range is gonna be from a women's five or men's three and a half to a women's 12, men's 10 and a half. So if you're within that size range, I hope you're able to acquire this pair. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into the sneakers. So this is the box that it comes in. It's in the standard Jordan 1 box, but the colors are different. So it's majority in that university red and the Nike logo comes in that black color. I'll go ahead and do a quick 360 of the box. All very standard in terms of what we'd expect for the Jordan 1. So that's always nice, can't complain about that. And when we open it up, we actually get this little extra. So it comes with a black tote bag with the red Jumpman logo on it. I actually really love the size of this tote bag. So I'll go ahead and include it in the styling part of the video just so you can see what it looks like. But it is so cute and I always get excited when brands add extra items into you know sneaker purchases. So oh, I love that little extra. Now to the star of the show. It is this beautiful pair right here. All right, so I did get this pair in an eight women's or six and a half men's, six and a half Y. This is my very first satin sneaker. The only other sneaker that I have that has some sort of satin material in it is the Alele May sneaker, the Calafia colorway in the women's Air Jordan 1 as well. But that one only has portions of the sneaker that are satin. So I'm really excited to see how well the material itself will show up. I do have the 2016 Air Jordan 1 bread colorway as well in the leather one. So I will be comparing both of the sneakers just so you can see some of the notable differences. But for this pair, I do wanna go over some details that they included in this one that you'll see is a little bit different from what we normally see in a Jordan 1. Now, since it is going to be satin material, we'll see right here that there are no perforations. And then we'll see here that the eyelets themselves have this black metal rim to it. I'm pretty sure it's because of the material. It's so the laces can kind of go through more easily and it doesn't mess up any of the material on the sneaker itself. The Wings logo is stitched here. And what's nice is actually we'll see the satin material extend into the inside of the pair. So that sock liner will also have the satin material to it, which is really nice. And I'll go ahead and do a 360 for everyone just so you can kind of see all of the beautiful details. And because it's satin, you really see that nice shine come through with the sneaker itself. So the sneaker does also come with two lace options. So in addition to the black one that it comes with, the aglets are actually this silver metal, which I think is a really nice touch. I'll try and pull them out for you guys so I can see it. Here, I'll pull it to the side. So this is what it looks like. And it does have the Jumpman logo kind of wrapped around that aglet as well. It's kind of hard to see, but it is there. And in addition to those laces, it does come in the red laces. And I believe the aglets are also, yep. So the aglets for this one are gonna be that same silver color and the Jumpman logo is gonna be seen on there as well. So I love having options for laces. So it's nice that they were able to incorporate a red lace option for this one, but still able to keep the silver aglets as well. So that's nice. And so let's go ahead and go through the comparison for this pair itself. So I do have my 2016 pair of the um, bread colorway and here it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them like right next to each other. So you can see that the satin color is a little bit brighter than the 2016 leather version. I still very much love this pair, don't get me wrong. It's definitely one of my favorite colorways. And I just love how well it has held up over the years. So this pair is already seven years old, which is really crazy to me. And I'm really happy that I'm able to have both because then it can kind of fit different vibes, especially when I'm styling them. All right, so that's gonna conclude the unboxing portion of the video. Now let's go ahead and go through the styling section. I am going to be sharing three looks with you all. So it's gonna be a streetwear look, a athleisure look, and a more formal look. So I hope you enjoy this part of the video and let's get to it. 
Okay, so this is gonna be the first look. This is the streetwear look. So the jewelry that I have on for my necklace is gonna be from Ryan Christian Designs. And the top I have on is a Nike vintage top that's been repurposed by Scentmaid. And then I'm wearing my Kith monogram jeans. Love this pair. And then of course I have on the tote bag that the pair comes with. So like I said, look how cute it is. I think it's the perfect size for on the go. So this is gonna be look number one. All right, everybody. So this is gonna be look number two. This is our athleisure look. So the hair clip I have on is gonna be from H&M. It's a metal hair clip. Pearl necklace is from J. Fong the jeweler. The bag I have is from Unique Glow. And then both my top and my bottom are both from Aloe Yoga. So anytime I wanna do errands or just need to get out of the house, I love this look and I think it pairs great with the sneakers. So this is gonna be the third and final look. So I wanted to keep with the satin theme when it came to the materials. So I am wearing a black satin button up from H&M. The dress is from Forever 21. I am wearing some gold jewelry all around. And then for my bag, I'm wearing my Prada wallet on chain to kind of tie it all together. So yeah, that's gonna be the final look. We have come to the end of this video, so I hope you all enjoyed that today. And please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all at the next video. Bye!